subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Hello friends, in this column, I discuss the Indian Army's repost carried out on the night of 29th and 30th August. In a surgical operation, the Indian Army seized the dominant features on the Kalash range, extending from helmet top, black top, Gurung Hill, Spangur Gap, Magar Hill, Mukpari, Rizangla, and Rechinla. The importance of the Kalash range is that it dominates the entire Spangur So Bowl, that is the north and the south bank of Spangur So, and all the Chinese communications leading to Chishu, which go all the way back to Rudok, which is nearly 90 kilometers away on the Tibet Xinjiang Highway. With this uh, operation, the Indian Army has put the PLA on the defensive, as is obvious from the statements which are emanating out. The operation was carried out utilizing the Special Frontier Force and some of our regular troops of approximately a brigade strength. And it was a classic surgical operation. The PLA was caught unawares and the surprise achieved was total. Over a period of time, our deception measures worked. It also proved that no amount of electronic surveillance, no amount of drone surveillance can defeat the ingenuity of the human mind. Now, what is likely to be the PLA's reaction? We have only secured those features which are on our side of the LAC. However, the PLA claims that Blacktop is east of their claim line, which is really not so. Once we hold the Kailash range, the entire defenses, entire infrastructure of the PLA in the Spangur Bowl is compromised. And we have a distinct strategic and tactical advantage. We can from here conduct offensive operations. If you see on the mark map in the column, you will see that the IV is only 10 to 15 kilometers away. This is the original IV as it existed in 1949 or 47 when we became independent. So the PLA cannot afford to have us sitting on the Kailash Ridge. Its reaction would be violent. In my assessment, it is likely to attack at Blacktop and Rizangla and Rechinda. Why Blacktop? Blacktop doesn't allow the PLA to go to the south bank of Pingong Shou. And it dominates the entire area south towards the Spangur Shou. Why Rizangla and Rechinda? From here, the route goes down to uh, the uh, Spangur So, and from there, the IB is just three, four kilometers. Our offensive can take us back to the IB, and the entire defenses of the Spangur Gap and the Spangur So, which the PLA has, will be compromised. I had assessed that what the PLA would like to do is, firstly, it like to creep up onto the onto the ridge line to establish a firm base. Due to the fact that we could not cross the LAC, we did not secure the entire plateau kind of an area which is formed on top of the Kailash range. And as was obvious from the incident on 7th and 8th night, that the PLA creeped up to Mukpari and tried to get our troops involved in a Galwan-like confrontation, that is, combat without arms. This is a deception measure of the PLA. The PLA wants us to get involved in a Galwan type of incident and then try and force disengagement as a result of which we'll be off the Kailash range. We must not allow this to happen. 
We must lay mines, booby traps, and do not allow the PLA to come close to you. And if push comes to a shove and we have to use military force, then it must be used as per the orders and the norms of the Indian Army. Fire for effect. The Chinese themselves did it to us on Thagla Ridge in 1962 and at uh, Nathula in 1967 when they fired at our own troops merely laying a barbed wire along the LAC. We have got the PLA by the juggler and we must not let go of it. At the same time, we must gird up for its counterattack. This repost was required for national morale, for our international standing, and the Indian Army has executed it with finesse. Now, let's all gird up for the Chinese counterattack as well as the likely escalation that may take place. Do enjoy reading the column.